everyone, I'm Dr. Evelyn from Petsadena Animal Hospital in Pasadena, California. Today I'm going to talk to you about foxtails. A foxtail, for anyone who doesn't know, is a common meadow grass that has brush-like little spikes on it, um, also called or commonly referred to as a grass lawn. Um, they're found in um, kind of areas with a lot of brush, um, with tall grass, um, bushes sometimes. Um, and they are a source of a nuisance and potentially a medical problem for our pets, both cats and dogs. Um, they are more commonly found to be a problem with dogs, mostly because they're, they're the ones that will be outside and um, travel to areas that have more of these um, available or accessible. Um, but in cats, we could see them become a problem, in particular outdoor kitty cats, kitty cats with long, um, long hair. So some ways to prevent foxtails from becoming a problem for your pet um, would include avoiding areas with high brush um, or a lot of bushes, a lot of high tall grass, um, you know, when you go on hikes, trails, walks. So staying on the trail versus having your dog go into the bushes can avoid those, those kind of situations. The other thing is some people get them in their backyard. So trimming your backyard and making sure that the gardener addresses any problems, any areas that may contain um, many foxtails is a good way to prevent it as well. Um, and then, you know, if they do come into air contact, your pets do come into contact um, with areas that they could be exposed, um, checking them and checking their body thoroughly after visiting those areas is a way to not necessarily prevent it, but at least remove the foxtails before they become an issue for your animal. So treating foxtails, I guess, depends on the location. So if they are um, embedded in the skin somewhere, but um, you know they're, e they're still easily removable, that is something that um, a pet owner can do at home on their own, um, or can seek medical attention at a veterinary hospital to have them remove them. Um, probably the easiest ones to remove are the ones we can see in between the toes that haven't been embedded yet, and so um, you know, checking your pet after going on a hike, walk, or trail where there is a potential risk for them contracting foxtails um, would be with what I would recommend in general for all pet owners. Um, checking in between the toes, checking the ears, um, checking in areas where there's a lot of fur. Sometimes in some pets it's kind of more the abdominal area um, and, you know, removing them by just pulling them out of where they're embedded. Now, if there's any indication of an abscess, some kind of infection or swelling associated with them, that would be um, something that I recommend um, you seek veterinary medical attention for. Um, because if there's an infection, there may be a need for antibiotics. If it's in an area where there's already a lot of inflammation and it's painful to remove, we may want to give some pain medication, a sedative, to allow us to remove them safely and you know pain free. Okay. If you have any further questions about how foxtails can affect your pet or you think that they may be having a problem with foxtails, I strongly encourage you to contact your local veterinarian for additional information and advice. Um, from all of us at Pensadena Animal Hospital, thank you and have a great day.